The goal of this series was always to be full disclosure. However, this is still the internet. You know, that's the main platform that this video and all of the others are on. So, sometimes being full disclosure is not the best of ideas. Because people will, out there will take the smallest thing in order to try to take what it is that you have or what you love, whatever it may be. So if this seems purposefully vague, consider the sentence, purposefully vague. Uh, I'm doing that for a reason, but I'm going to do my best to try to describe something that is exceptionally real, uh, something that's not even 36 hours old, so something that's very recent. Uh, this is like how I talk on CKN Reacts to something that happens like at a concert or to a metal musician or just a musician in general, only it's not for them, it's, it's actually for me. Now, for those of you who have seen The Great Is Our Sin review, the Revocation brand new album review, uh, if you haven't, I do recommend you check it out. It is a very good album. Uh, that was recorded um, Friday night, which would actually be Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, at about 1 a.m. And it's a little dark because of that time frame. Um, but if you watch that and look at my demeanor and everything, I am fine. And uh, that's because I was. Uh, I had no idea that whenever I was going to attempt to post that, uh, you know, cue it up for later on in the day on Saturday, like probably Saturday morning around 10 a.m. was my plot, that I was going to be unable to do that. I was not going to have the, uh, the ability because as I was going through the process of trying to get the tags up and get it the way that I like it, I felt extremely odd. Uh, there were a lot of things going on with me that were not of the norm. That caused me to actually cancel the upload because it was not going to be, you know, of the quality as far as the description and everything else. It was not going to be up to par. Um, and went to my bathroom and ended up passing out. Now, <laughs> I say the words passing out a lot, um, just as general language. I mean that to mean that I'm going to sleep, you know. It's time for me to pass out. It's been a long day. You know, I'm going to bed. It does not mean feel dizzy, you know, feel like the body is uncontrollable, feel like I can't stand, feel like the best place to be is on floor. Uh, and I've not been intoxicated, you know, to the point where I black out for, oh God, it's been years. It's been a long time since that has ever occurred to me. Uh, so this was, of course, not nearly normal at all. This was completely abnormal. So fortunately, and I mentioned this in the first getting things off my chest video, fortunately my parents are relatively close by, so I gave them a ring. My mother is uh, within some professions that are helpful in this situation, and it was determined that the best course of action was to uh, go up to the hospital and see what was going on, and I've learned a couple things from that. First of all, um, I know why I don't like needles. I got so much blood taken during the past 24 hours that um, I feel like a pin cushion. <laughs> That's why I don't have any tattoos. That's why I'm not a heroin junkie, nor will I ever be. Um, thank God I don't have uh, diabetes or else insulin and all that stuff would be a real issue, though I think they've made some real massive breakthroughs with that, so it's all good. Uh, if you happen to be diabetic, um, I am, you know, you guys have some pretty cool technology. I'm not going to lie, because I had my blood sugar tested a good bit while I was there, just as a precaution, and uh, that little thing that pricks your finger is pretty cool. Uh, it's amazing what it's able to do and be pain-free, you know, it's just very, very neat. I like the fact that this is a, a disease that it has gotten a lot of research. A couple other things to know, though, is, you know, if you are ever in a situation where you're in the hospital, man, thank those people that are that are helping you out, that are doing all this stuff for you and trying to get you better. Um, you know, they are human too, you know, they are folks that are totally 100% fallible, they are not infallible, and, um, you know, being personal in a situation like that, showing a little bit of grace under pressure, um, which is very, very subtle, you know, Half-Life 4 confirmed or Half-Life 3 confirmed, whatever the meme is, uh, it, it's something that really does help the situation, it builds a rapport with the people that are going to be coming in and out of your room if you happen to be admitted, which I was, um, so... I spent all of Saturday morning 
uh, from the early hours all the way through to noon and the first part of uh, yesterday afternoon in the hospital. And the last thing that I will disclose about this is the fact that whenever you get a little bit of acid reflux, the last thing that you think about is, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> that's the last thing that's on your mind, 100%. If you're thinking after you have some acid reflux, I gotta go, then uh, you have a serious problem. But it is possible. Uh, it is exceptionally possible because um, more serious cases of acid reflux will actually mimic uh, the symptoms of a heart attack or stroke. So you will literally feel like your chest is either on fire, either that, or that your chest is tightening as though you are losing, you know, the ability to pump blood. I, I did not know that. Uh, and if I did know that, then I would have known to just ride this out. Uh, but either way, uh, it was very, you know, it was best to kind of go up there and get this looked at and get this sort of examined to see if really there was any sort of way to understand why it happened. And well, based off of that diagnosis and based off of uh, some things that I know from what I have eaten and things like that, um, pizza is one of my favorite foods. Uh, there's another full disclosure tip right there. Pizza is one thing that I could eat every day for the rest of my life and be a very happy man. However, pizza did this to me. Uh, late night pizza, in fact. It was pizza that was at nearly 2 a.m. Uh, and I was in the hospital less than an hour later. Um, it was based off of some excessive spices, probably based off of how I was um, you know, seated or laying afterward. For whatever reason, there was a great deal of uh, acid that built up that caused all of this and was serious enough to feel to make me feel like I was um, I was in trouble you know so I have been ordered <laughs> based off of all of this uh, I've ordered to sort of take I've been ordered to sort of take it easy for a little bit but what's cool about that is that doing videos like this you know not just like this one but even my normal ones it's a very calm activity. It's a very chill activity, so that's not going to be as affected by this. And honestly, the other side, where I'm a little bit more active, whether it be outside or anything like that, won't be affected either because uh, it is going to be between 95 and 100 over the next couple of days. High humidity. There are heat warnings out there, you know, excessive heat warnings, heat index warnings, and things like that, so I, I really don't want to be out there anyway uh, because that sounds... It sounds pretty bad news for somebody who was uh, just hospitalized, so I'm going to avoid that if I can. So, you know, without giving you too much info, um, just know that I'm cool. I'm fine. Here I am. Hi. How you doing? Uh, everything is great with me. Uh, it was a pretty scary experience, but, um, you know, big shout out to everybody who was taking care of me, that did something to, uh, to really help. Shout out to all you guys that showcased uh, your, your support, your concern, anything of that variety is always appreciated. It's nice to know that uh, it's more than just the content that you guys are into. You guys are sort of into me, like I'm into you and stuff like that. You know, it sounds like a, it sounds like a relationship. It's a relationship, man. I mean, you can change that relationship status. No, yeah, don't do that. That's creepy. Don't do that. Don't stop it. I see you heading to fake. Don't do it. No, don't do it. They won't believe you. I won't believe you. I, I'll, I'll deny it. I'll deny it to the day I... No, I won't deny it. Anyway. <laughs> Anyhow, man. Um, thanks again for everything. Um, thanks for your support. Um, thanks to your support also uh, through the, uh, the, the, the donation links and the, and the Patreon links and everything. We've gotten a couple brand new people. If you haven't checked out the new Patreon page, there's a couple things that have been updated over there. Still need to record a brand new intro video, so that's going to be coming uh, probably this week. And we're going to be resuming normal activities as of today. So um, if you want to be a part of that, I have the links in the uh, description box. If not, then hey guys, we're going to keep on trucking. We got a lot to talk about, and I'm not about to slow down. I'm not about to let this little experience slow me down all that much. So um, I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm Cover Killer Nation. Thanks for being there.